Would you turn with me to Romans chapter 6, verse 11? May I put that in a salitana for me in Romans chapter 6, verse 11. And I will be reading from there all the way to verse 14. Romans chapter 6, verse 11 to 14. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal bodies, so that you obey its evil desire. Do not offer your, any part of yourself to sin as an instrument of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and offer every part of yourself to Him as an instrument of righteousness. For sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law but under grace. May the Lord add more blessing upon the reading of His Word. There is a war that is going on. Meron pong na uh, uh, digmaan na nangyayari sa buhay ng bawat isa. And uh, many of us, either we are aware of it or not, uh, kadalasan, marami ay hindi na aware na they are in a spiritual warfare. There are many of us, even if we are aware, we are not engaged. Pinababayaan natin na ang war ngayon is going to go on and on and on. And in this particular war, there is no let up. Sa digmaan ito, hindi ito natatapos. And uh, this is happening every day. This is the only war that happens every day. <clears throat> and there is no end to it. Wala lang katapusan nito. Manatapos lamang siya, it's either when you die or the Lord comes. Are you aware that you are in a war? Amen. Really, really, really? Yes. Okay. There is a war that is going on and one is being waged within and so the title of our message today says winning the war or the holy war within but there is also a holy war without so uh, Sunday we are going to talk about this war that is happening within us and next Sunday, we're going to talk about the war that is going uh, on without us, or something that is out of us. In the war within, there are two contenders. Meron mong dalawang uh, contenders sa, oh, sa holy war na ito within. And it is a war between the flesh and the spirit. Uh, uh, ang magkatunggali ay ang patawan o ang laman at ang katunggali niya ay ang espiritu. Ulit-ulit ko lang binabanggit sa inyo, ulit-ulit ko lang in-explain at uh, papanggating ko na naman na man is composed of three elements, tatlong bahagi ang tao. Yung katawan, yung kaluluwa, at yung espiritu. You understand? Now, marami pong nagsasabi na yung espiritu at kaluluwa, isa lang. Um, malaon ng debate yan sa Bible College at hanggang ngayon, debate pa rin. Okay? Ngunit ako naniniwala na hiwalay ang espiritu sa kaluluwa. Kaya marami pong uh, uh, passages na magpapatunay dyan kesa sa mga passages, passages na nagpapatunay na dalawa lang ang elemento ng tao. Yung Espiritu ay, ay gift ng Panginoon. 
It is your God consciousness. Conscious ka na may Diyos dahil sa Espiritu. Okay? Pag namatay tayo yung Espiritu, pabalik sa Diyos na siyang nagbigay. Okay? Yung katawan, pabalik sa lupa kasi magiging alay ka po ulit. Pero yung kaluluwa, dalawa ang patutungungan. You understand? Heaven or hell. Okay? Now, both soul and spirit, they are eternal. Okay? Hindi na mamatay yung kaluluwa, hindi na mamatay yung spirit ko. Pero yung spirit ko, pag-aari ng Diyos, pabalik sa kanya. You understand? And so, habang nabubuhay ka ngayon, kapatid, there is a war that is going on within you. Araw-araw yan. Every time, uh, whether you are consciously making a decision or not, there is a war. Okay? And it is even raging even this very moment. Sinasabi ng flesh sa iyo, kapag ito sa kanya. Again? Sasabi ng Espiritu, napakahalagin ito, aking dano, ang sasabi niya. Again? Pili ba sa inyo, inaanto, parang hindi nag-worship. So, uh, uh, ano yan? Flesh yun. Yung flesh kasi laging gusto matulog yan. Magpahinga, kumain. Yun ang gusto ng flesh. Gusto niya, like, uh, tumakay na masarap. Magpapahinga, kung pwede lang na bigyan kayo ng uh, another oras na matulog sa umaga hanggang alas 9. Pero wala yata may employer na gano'n. Pira. Pero yung uh, Espiritu, I uh, is urging you to, uh, to have intimacy with God. Lingo-lingo, you are faced with a decision whether to go to the church or not. Sabi ng flesh, magpahinga ka naman. You deserve rest. Punta ka sa beach. Tawagan mo yung kaibigan mo. Happy-happy ka naman. Okay? Pero the Spirit is telling you, no, today is the day of the Lord. Go to church! Mag-re-church ka! It is going to help you much! Go! 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 Go to church! Sabi naman, sabi naman ng class, No! 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 <laughs> you understand? Yes. And, lalo na kung may mag-offer ng part-time sa libo, oh, there is a war that is going to be waged between the spirit and the flesh. Alam mo, ang exciting factor, ikaw, it is the soul that will decide. Kikiling ba siya sa spirit or kikiling siya sa laman? So, uh, minsan mag-iisip ka. Minsan na uh, naguguluhan ka. Okay? Minsan na uh, uh, urong sulong ka. Nasa Jordan ka na, hindi ka makalabas doon sa Thursday, babalik ka na naman. Kasi saya. You understand? Hello? There is a war going on. And many of us are... Uh, uh, the reality is, maraming Christiano ngayong panahon nito, laging talunan. Laging defeated. Laging si flesh ang nananalo. Si spirit laging talo. Amen? But I have good news for you. Today, uh, uh, I want you to win. Because God promised that you're going to win. Amen? Okay? Sabi ng, uh, sabi ng uh, uh, salita ng Diyos, uh, verse 14, Sin! This is the real issue. Ang real issue ng, uh, ng uh, Big Mac ito ay kasalanan. It is a fight for your soul. Gusto ng flesh na magkasala ang kaluluwa. Ang Espiritu naman, ayaw niya na magkasala ang kaluluwa. So the very issue is sin. And the promise of God in verse 14 says, Sin is no longer going to have dominion over you. Sin, ang kasalanan daw ay hindi na maghahari sa iyo. Wow. How good is that? It's good, isn't it? Okay. And so this morning, I am going to give you at least three principles. Three keys. Tatlong nga susi para magtagumpay ka 
sa holy war within sa banal na pakikipag bigmaan sa loob ng uh, uh, kaluluwa mo. And uh, I pray na bago ka lumabas dito, ay meron ka na panibagong lahats. Panibagong pananaw. Panibagong uh, panibagong uh, pamumuhay para sa Panginoon. At yun ay victorious Christian. Simulan mo natin. Sabi po ni J.C. Ryle, sabi niya, ang isang Kristiyana, isang tunay na Kristiyano, is one who has not only peace of conscience. Ang tunay na Kristiyano daw may kapayapaan, ngunit mayroon din siyang digmaan with it. Okay? Lights pa siya, di ba? Mayroon kang kapayapaan. How many of you have a problem? Yes. But you have a struggle. Yes. True or false? Yes. True. True. I promise you, every day you have a struggle with your employer. Again? One day, 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 one day. Okay? For me, you have a struggle with your love. I love you enough. I love you. I love you enough. I love you enough. Okay. And so, meron kang kapanyapaan, ngunit meron ka rin struggle with it. You may be known by your warfare as well as by your peace. And whether you like it or not, my friends, you better live this way. You better, uh, you better learn how to overcome. You better learn how to win this war. Because it is not going to stop. It is only going to stop. If you die, okay? Patpatay ka na, patay na rin ang laman. Wala nang warfare. You understand? Or, pagbalik ng Panginoon. Pag bumalik na si Lord at umakit na tayo sa langit, wala nang struggle doon. Pero habang nabubuhay ka, lalo na dito sa Hong Kong, you are going to struggle. There will be spiritual warfare. And my God, you better be ready how to fight and how to win. Are you interested? Amen. Are you interested of winning? Amen. Amen? Amen. Talaga? Amen. Sige na. Okay, sabi ni Pugo, this is an old, old newspaper clipping cartoon. Sabi niya, we have met the enemy. Nasa loob mo po ang kaway. Sino ang kaway? And he is us. Okay? How many of you believe that the greatest enemy you have is not anyone but yourself? Yes. Okay? Ikaw lagi ang kaway ang sarili mo eh. Diba? Kasi ilan yun ang nagtatalo yung isip mo. Sasali ba ako? Hindi. Sasali ako? Hindi. You understand? So nag-i-struggle ka ngayon. And kung kulang ka sa instruction by the Word of God, kulang ka sa instruct, moral instruction on righteousness, tapos wala kapag yung uh, uh, meditation, di wala wisdom. And so you see how this ties all together? There is an enemy, and your, your most formidable enemy is not the person who owe you a thousand dollars, na lagi mong sinisikin. Ayaw magbayad. Hindi siya ang kaaway mo mabating. Ang kaaway mo, ikaw. Bakit ka nagpaunta? Again? Tapos ngayon, mas maalaw mo pagka hindi ka pinayara. Hindi ka nag-isip. You understand? Yung ex mo, hindi yun ang kaaway mo. Ikaw. Bakit hindi ka makalat go? You understand? Lahat lagi mo siyang iniisip. Again? Siya nag-move on na. May kahawang kamay na siya. Enjoy siya. Okay? Pinag-post pa niya sa Facebook. Ikaw nangangalit. Okay? Kaya hindi ka makag-move on. So, sino talo? Ikaw. So, your greatest enemy is not your ex. It is you. You understand? I remember uh, uh, Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of the former president, 
Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Sabi niya, walang sino man ang makapagbibigay ng pahintulot sa iyo na magalit ka, ikaw ang nagbibigay ng pahintulot sa sarili mong na nagalit. Kaya hindi mo pwede sabihin, ginalit mo ako, hindi yun. Tapos binigyan mo ng pahintulot ang sarili mo na magalit. You understand? And so your greatest enemy is not somewhere, somehow, uh, somebody outside of your body. Your greatest enemy is just within you, and that is you. Again, hold that thought because uh, we are going to win the holy war within. Now here is what the Bible says. The flesh, itong ating laman, ang hilig daw niya ay salungat sa espiritu. What the flesh desire is contrary to the spirit. Pagkapagod ka na, lahat na pagkapagod ka na sa gabi, ang gusto talaga ng flesh mo ay ihiga mo na ang sarili mo. Pero ang gusto ng spirit o mag-pray. Kaya lang sino lang yan na nanalo. Ang flesh, di ba nakakatulugan mo mag-pray? Yes. <laughs> okay? So, uh, it's really a struggle. And eh? so, uh, the spirit of God wants you to have intimacy with God. But our flesh, Iba ang desire ng flesh. Laging salungat sa spirit. No? And the spirit, what is contrary to the flesh? They are in conflict with each other. So that you are not to do whatever you want. And do not despair, my friend. That the same experience is universal. It is even experienced by the Apostle Paul himself. Sabi ni Apostle Pablo, the things that I want to do for God, I cannot. How many of you have read the struggle of Paul? But there is another law in my members. Warring against the law of the Spirit in my mind. So that I cannot do the will of God. Oh, what a wretched man I am. Sabi niya, kawawa naman ako. Who is going to save me from this body of sin? And then he answers to say his own question and he said, I thank Jesus, my Lord. My friends, the Lord has given you already the capacity to win. The Spirit of God is in you. The gift of the Lord Jesus Christ when he died on the cross of Calvary is this. He, the moment you believe in God, he makes a deposit of that Holy Spirit in your life, igniting the Spirit within you to have a more conscious para pinaiibig ng banal na Spirito yung iyong God-consciousness upang nang sa gayon ang kaluluwa ay makisama sa Spirito, hindi sa laman. You understand? Ang nakakakit na nito, pabalikan na naman natin yung ating mga lessons na nakaraang mga linggo you really have to go back to the Word, you know, magkaroon ka ng Bible reading time, hanggang hindi mo yun ginagawa, karnal ka pa rin. Kailan na ilapit mo ang sarili mo sa, pang- sa Panginoon, draw na yan to God and He will draw na yan to you. There is no other order. Kasi nga, magkasalungan ang flesh, ang katawan, sa Espiritu. Hindi sinabi na magkasaluma ang espiritu at kaluluwa. Hindi yan. Hindi rin sinabi na magkasaluma ang espiritu at ang kaluluwa. Hindi. Bakit? Ang decision part comes from the soul. Your mind will make the decision. Aayon ba siya sa flesh? Or aayon siya sa espiritu? So sino ang katunggali ng laman? Ang Espiritu. Hello? Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Okay. Alam ko, you are deep thinkers. Okay? May mga pigong insan. Okay? And so, uh, it is very important for the soul to make the right decision on a daily basis. Amen? And so, tignan uh, po natin ito. Flesh versus the Spirit. The flesh is your personality. 
Iba-iba tayo ng personalidad. Depende po yan sa these characteristics are derived from heredity, environment, that distancing pieces me from every person. You are, each and every one of us is unique. Okay? Hinubog tayo ng pamilya natin. Hinubog tayo ng ating nationality. Hinubog tayo kung saan region ka sa Pilipinas nga. Kaya iba ang Ilocano sa Tagalog, iba ang Tagalog sa Bisaya, iba iba ang Ugalit. Now, yung mga Ilocano, iba iba rin ang Ugalit dahil iba iba ang klase ng pamilya. You understand? Now here, look. Uh, the personality corresponds to the fleshly nature, the manifest man. Ito yung nakikita, manifest. At uh, ang source of strength, this is a source of strength and life. Ang preoccupation niya, ang laging nalaman ng isip niya, ay immediate pleasure. Amen? Kaya uh, lagi ang flesh nagsisignal pagka uh, alauna na, ay gutok ka na. Kailangan na niya ng pagkain. Tapos pagka hindi mo siya pinagpigyan, bugnote. Eh. <laughs> Yan na saan? Ay, ang natawag ka ng galit pagkaguto. Okay. Halalo niya. Kasi nung hindi. Di ba? Yes. And uh, that is flesh. Uh, uh, extension ng ating personality are social, clothing, okay, uh, hair, voice, body, posture, attitude. Nakaiba ka sa spirit. The, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, we know the spirit by his character. Again, hindi personality, kundi character, the latent man, ang tao sa loob, intangible ang mga values niya, a sense of good moral judgment blended with resolution. And the uh, source of strength and life niya is the knowledge of the word, the knowledge of the spirit. Kaya, mga kapatid, uh, to make, uh, uh, para ma, ma, to make use of your being a believer. Kasi, kasi maraming believer ngayon, hindi lumalago talaga kasi ayaw nilang enorture ang sarili nila. They thought that just coming to church will be okay for them. Amen. Na hindi po totoo yun. You have to nurture your body. You have to feed your soul. There are disciplines that you need to do. And until now, I am telling you that uh, for, for the whole month of... Uh, of March already that not unless you are going to nurture your 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 spiritual life with the word of God hinahayaan mo lang sarili mo araw-araw wala kang meditation, wala kang uh, uh, prayer life, wala kang reading plan of the word of God because your faith is knowledge based you have to feed on the word word knowledge, spirit knowledge and then you develop this character value holiness Association with the right kind of people, intellect, hygiene, economic recreation, and aesthetic. Now that is the difference between the flesh and the spirit. Now look here. Yung isang carnal na Christian, a carnal Christian wanted to join both the spirit and the flesh na hindi mangyayari. Gusto natin minsan na uh, uh, kakaroon tayo ng compromise. Yung attempt the coalition of two natures. It is impossible. Hindi po pwedeng mamuhay na kristyano at mamuhay sa kasalanan. Hello? Amen. Hindi po pwede na uh, na kristyano ka and then uh, uh, every Sunday you are a Christian and from Monday to Friday you are not. Hello? Amen. And so here, a spiritual compromise brings false peace, allows the flesh nature the freedom to feed upon the lust of the flesh. So, namumuhay pa rin sa lust of the flesh. Uh, tingnan nyo. Ang uh, focus, ang carnally minded, he is feeding what? Meaning to say, ang pinakain ng uh, flesh ay television, glamour, magazine, pleasure, extravagance, entertainment, sports, passion, and success. Now, you are going to lie to me if you are not going to say that you love these things. We all love that. Yes. yes. Our sinful nature likes those. 
Now, uh, let me tell you this. This in itself is not a sin. Television is not a sin. But dwelling on television eight hours a day is a sin. And the material you are viewing also, it depends on the content you are viewing. You understand? Okay. Uh, Glamour magazine. Uh, may mga magazine na ng GQ. Uh, yung mga uh, lifestyle magazine. Yung, na, yung mga nagpo-promote ng mga coach na bag or mga ano, uh, bawat page mayroong uh, spread ng uh, commercial that is uh, what is uh, the in thing today. Isa ko suksura natin ko sa inyo na nandiyan sa inyo. Magkakaroon din ako ng ganyan. <laughs> Kahit nalibo-libo ang, ang price. You understand? And then, um, uh, uh, pleasure. Now, sino hindi gusto mamasyal? Lahat tayo gusto mamasyal. Kung pwede nga lang, lagi tayo nasa overseas. Kung pwede nga lang na hindi ka natin kung sa ating employer, kaya alam wala tayong pambayad sa inyong masakit. You understand? Uh, sino hindi gusto ng uh, uh, entertainment? We all love to watch entertainment. Sports, passion. At ang binabanggit ko ito, merong excitement ang flash mo. Hindi ko pa dinagdag dyan ang Facebook. <laughs> you understand? Now, tingpunahan natin ang, ang uh, uh, spirit nature. Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the last the law. Sabi ni Lord, kung so, susundin natin ito, ah, itong lahat ng ito is going to be secondary, maybe, maybe third place na. Ang magiging first place is Word of God, prayer, holiness, church, separation, good works, missions, evangelism, stewardship. At hawang pinabasa ko yan, sa mga pakiramdam mo. <laughs> What? <laughs> Deo ko ngayon, no? Ano ba akong malahon sa sarili ko? Nagpo-protest ang, ang, ang flash. Nagsisigma naman ako ah! Tama na yun! Hindi na ako mag-iinbo! May plano kaya ako mamaya? May imimit kaya ako sa sentra? Kakain kami. Pupunta kami sa Big Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you feel that you realize that there is a war with it? The spiritual man desires the things of God. The carnal man desires these things. Again, I think we're going to get part time. Hindi ko pa nilagay dyan ang mga pagkakakita ang malaki. <laughs> you understand? Know Nga no, mga kapatid, how many of you believe kapos ka sa tayo? True, right? Sante lang talaga ang gayo mo, wala na iba. Tapos magdadagdag ka pa ng ibang activity. If araw ni Lord yun, How many of you believe that the Sabbath is for the Lord? Amen. The Sabbath is not for any other business but for the business of God. Amen. Kung nasa Old Testament tayo, patay na tayo lahat. You understand? Kasi sa Old Testament, hindi ka pwede mag- gumawa ng anumang bagay uh, uh, kundi mag- uh, mag-worship sa Panginoon from sunrise to sundown. No other activity but worship. Killjoy ng Lord. Killjoy siya sa flesh. Yes. You understand? But the joy of the Spirit is being, is worship. You understand? Yes. And so, mahal ko kapatid, uh, tingnan nyo ito. There is a war going on and this is being waged every day in the many decisions that we make. It determines our destiny. It determines whether you are going to be, uh, uh, you are nearing maturity or not. The more you come to maturity, the more you have this. 
But the more you are carnal, the more you are worldly. You understand? Kasi yun ang preoccupation mo eh. Right? And so, uh, let us start. There are three keys. There are three keys. Very, very important. Makinig para lagi kang nananalo every day. Number one, there must be a constant reckoning. Say the word with me, reckoning. Reckoning. Ano yung reckoning? To reckon is to have a, a yung bang mag, uh, alimbawa, every year meron tinatawag na inventory. Kumita ba ako o oh, hindi? So there is something like, uh, every decision that you make, you reckon yourself to be dead already to sin. Count yourself. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. And you know, no ako ay um, bata pang Kristiyano. Lagi akong nagkakamot sa ulo bago ipig sabihin ni Apostol Pablo na ako ay patay na sa kasalanan. Samantala, in reality, buhay na buhay ako sa kasalanan. Hello? Bakit ko nasabi na buhay na buhay ako sa kasalanan? Kami na, natutokso ko rin. Yes. Meron mang tao dito na hindi na natutokso. Nabay niya. Uh, wala yata, di ba? Eh, hindi ka na natutok, so binasa langit ka na dapat ngayon. <laughs> eh, natutok sa parin na yun, di ba? Sa so, maraming bagay, natutok sa tayo. Uh, and, and including your speaker, natutok sa ako. Okay, hindi lang, uh, 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 temptation is not only a, a sexual nature, no? There are many kinds of temptations. Okay? Anything that is a departure from God, anything that entices you to depart from God is temptation. Now here, in the same way, ibilang, ibilang mo ang sarili mo. Uh, that is the best translation simula ka ako ngayon ko lang na sa Tagalog. Ibilang mo ang sarili mo na patay na sa kasalanan. So, uh, paano mo kinagawa yun? Uh, it is something that is a decision of the mind. Pagka na, uh, nagka-count ka, pagka nag- uh, Ah. Uh, I sorry. Pagka nagre-reckoning ka sa ginagawa mo sa puso o sa isip? Sa isip. Sa isip. Yes. Ibilang mo ang sarili mo. Count yourself as dead to sin. Say this word with me. I am dead to sin. I am dead to sin. Para wala kang conviction. I am dead to sin. I am dead to sin. Tagalogin natin para mas lalo mo ano, madamdam mo. Patay na ako sa kasalanan. Patay na ako sa kasalanan. Gawin natin very, very uh, contemporary. Patay na ako sa dati kong ex. Patay na ako sa dati kong ex. Okay? Now, ano please, Pino? Minsan, uh, your lips says it, but your heart denies it. Yes. Amen? How many of you are in that situation all the time? Ah, lalong-lalo na sa ex. Di ba? Ang sabi mo, ay, wala na kami niyan. <laughs> wala na. Pero nang picture, nasa kita ka pa rin. Pero wala na sila. Di ba? And then, wag ma- napuprovoke lagi pag nakikita yung picture. Buhay na buhay. Okay? But then, you have to make this assertion over and over again. Kapatid, it doesn't uh, work only once you are going to make this assertion. You have to make this assertion every day. I am dead to that already. I am not going to do that because I am dead to that already. Christ died for my sins already. Therefore, I am dead to doing that. Count yourself as dead. Now, pagka binibilang mo yung sarili na patay na, again, even if you feel it na buhay na buhay pa, It is the mind that controls your feelings. Okay? Bakit, bakit napakahirap iwanan ng, ng dating kahapon? Kasi nga lang yung isip eh. Pero pagka nag-decide ka na, patay na ako, yan. Now, here is an example. Dead to sin. Araw-araw, si Satanas hindi napapagod yan. Nag-deliver siya lagi ng mga packages na ang tawag ay may dala-dala siyang car, uh, truck. Deliver-deliver. Okay? Special delivery yan. 
Paminsan, meron pa niyang ribbon. Like a package. And so sabi niya, I have a package for Mr. Joe, the sinner. And so, dalala niya yung sin. Kino-offer ni Satan sa iyo. Ito na ang pagkakataon mong lumigaya. Okay? Ang sabihin mo, Joe, the sinner, is dead. And he didn't leave a forwarding address. My name is Joe Sanctify. Hindi na ako si Joe the Sinner, ako si Joe Sanctify. Nilinis na ako ng Panginoon. Pinatawad na niya ako. I refuse to deliver. Pinakamahalaga niyo yung last na line. Hindi mo tinatanggap ang delivery mo sa akin ngayon. Then, sin stops. At least for that day. But Satan is already at place. Again, babalik ulit siya pinabukasan. Delivery ulit. Babagoy niya yung package. Mas maganda. Again, when it comes with a guarantee. Again. Gawin natin very real yung, yung example. Ito na si Satanas. Ito na yung ex mo, katawag siya. After many, many years, di kayo nag-usap, biglang tumawag. Okay? Hello? <laughs> ang sarap-sarap pa na nga, anak. Hello? Uy, nalibutan mo na nga ang boses pa. Hindi. Kilala-kilala ko ka. Galing pa. Kunyari, galing. Gusto mo ba magkita tayo? For all time's sake. Gina, ba't pa tayo gagawin? Kakailan tayo? Okay? Tapos ikaw, hindi ka makikibok. Nag-iisip ka. Ang mukong na ito. Okay? Kaya lang mahalap siya. Saan? Saan tayo magkikita? Anong oras? Kunyari ka pa. Hello? How many of you believe this is happening in your life? Hindi lang sa ex. Napakarami natin ex. You understand? The memory of the past. May mga picture tayo na minsan ay nakapagbibigyan sa atin ng sama ng loob. Minsan tayo, you belong to a very sad family in the past. The moment you see families that are very good, it brings pain in your heart. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Kaya, lalo na yung may mga pangit na childhood. You understand? And it brings uh, memories of pain and sorrow. And you begin to say, uh, and here comes the devil, he's knocking at the door. Okay? So, niya, sabi niya sa iyo, alam mo, kaya taksi na ka ng asawa mo, kaya mo rin gawin niyo. Okay? Would you accept the delivery? Sabi niya, oh nga, pakikita ko sa kanya na kaya ko rin gawin. Then you sign the Delivery receipt. Pinasok mo na sa loob ng bahay yung sin package. Binuksan mo siya. My friends, it is a decision to make. Now, balikan natin yung ano. Yung, uh, in the same way, sino raw ang gagawa nito? Ibilang mo ang iyong sarili. Sino gagawa? Ikaw, di ba? Tayo, di ba? So, paano mo gagawin yun? By saying no! Kaya nga, di ba, lagi kong yung sinasabi sa inyo, that, uh, 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 the most important thing that I want you to learn from me is learn how to say no. At the right time, at the right issues in life, you are going to fail very well in your present life if you know how to say no. Hindi ba napansin na ikaw ang utangan ng tao? <laughs> ah, bakit ka utangan ng tao? Kasi hindi ka marunong tumanggi. Lagi, lagi masama ang loob mo. Pag kinuutangan ka, hindi ka nagbabayad. Okay? At yung sinisingil mo, galit pa. Okay? And so you wallow in regret and in, uh, in bitterness. Double job party ka na. Bakit? Galit ka na, masama pa ang loob mo, nawala ka pa ng pera. You understand? And so, count yourself dead to sin already. Sabi mo, pera lang yun. 
I am not going to learn my lesson. I'm not going to be bitter with this. I'm going to tell the ask the Lord, Lord, forgive me for harboring bitterness, and I am surrendering my my uh, Then the same ends. Can you understand? But again, Satan is going to come back the following day with a different kind of package. And many of us, many of us, do not even realize that this is an offer that is coming from the enemy, not God. So count yourself dead. Ken? Patay na ako sa selos. Patay na ako sa pangungutan. Patay na ako sa aking ex. Patay na ako na. We have to die daily. Amen. Eh, sabi ako sa Pablo, you have to die daily. Yeah, yeah. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves. Niligtas ka na ang Panginoon, inango ka niya sa kaharian ng tilim, tinalakan na niya sa liwanag, huwag ka nang magbalik sa labi. Amen? Ayaw niya. Amen. Okay. So here, deal with reality. Reckoning is coming from the Greek word logisomai, coming uh, that is also where we get the word logic. Uh, take an inventory, estimate, and conclude. And uh, these are the many times it is uh, being mentioned in the New Testament. Uh, another translation is take, makisip ka, nine times. Impute. I, I, I pataw mo ang, uh, and that is 8 reckon 6 count ipilang mo 5 account okay uh, 4 times and suppose now the word refers to facts not supposition so it deals with reality so when it says count yourself dead to sin it deals with reality not abstract things not supposition now, when Jesus died on the cross, so did your sin. Ito ang sinabi ng sagtahan ng Panginoon. Nung namatay si Lord sa, uh, sa cross, namatay na rin yung kasalanan mo, ang kapangyarihan niya sa iyo. When He rose from the dead, kasama sa pagbangon niya ang iyong pag-asa. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. <laughs> it brings us to the second. So, from constant reckoning, you need to do a conscious resisting. When you resist someone, you put your one foot forward and resist. Okay? You don't resist, right? <laughs> that is not resisting. That is fuck you. <laughs> you don't need that. Hello. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Amen. Isn't that a wonderful verse? Amen. Sa lumatin mo raw ang Diablo, talaga siya. Okay? Kaya lang marami sa atin ayaw sumalungan. Pinababayaan nga natin ang Diablo na ako sa akin tayo. Resist. Ganun din mo yung katabi, huwag, resist ka. <laughs> Therefore, sa kanina, count yourself there to sin. Ngayon naman, do not let sin pray. Huwag mo kaya na ang salangan ay makahari. Yeah, uh, huwag mo hayaan, sabi, sabi nga nila, di ba meron tayong uh, quote, I remember a quote before, saying, you cannot prevent the birds from flying over your head. Diba? Eh, hindi mo talaga mapipigilan yung ibon daw na lumipad sa iyong ulo. Kaya lang you can prevent those birds to make a nest on your head. Huwag mo nga hayaan na magpugad na siya. Yan sa ulo. My friends, you are the decision maker. Amen. 
You can decide. Amen? You can command your brain. Binigyan ka ni Lord ng authority. Binigyan ka ni Lord ng capacity, ng ability, ng intelligence, ng spiritual power to overcome. Ayaw ni Satanas na ma-realize mo ito kasi gusto niya lagi na defeated Christian ka. But I am teaching you already, you need to learn how to resist. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Do not let sin reign in your mortal body so that you obey its evil desires. Now, uh, so yeah, those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires. Kaya, huwag kang mag-dwell sa gusto ng flesh. Now, yes, yes, uh, uh, I know, I know. It takes a struggle. Uh, may, hindi siya easy. You see, when I discovered it, it has been a struggle for me to eat uh, sensibly and uh, circumspectly para mamintain ko yung aking health. Ang daming bawal. Okay? Kaya lang every time na nakikita ko yung masarap na spaghetti. I really love spaghetti. Oh my God, I love spaghetti. Okay? Iniisip ko pala yung spaghetti, nagkaloy na ako. Okay? Lalo na akong maraming sauce. Okay? I love spaghetti. But spaghetti is anathema or against my health. So I have to say, No! Oh, spaghetti! <laughs> And to many other things. Now, uh, I thank God, meron tinatawag na cheat day. <laughs> okay? And Sunday is my cheat day. But with God, there is no cheat day. Amen. Wala pong provision si Lord na, sige, ngayong araw na ito, pwede kang magwala. <laughs> Sana kung meron ganun, ano? Ah, si Lord talaga napaka-killjoy niya. Killjoy siya sa flesh ko. Kasi alam niya, makakasama sa iyo eh. You understand? Ayaw ni Lord na magwala ka kahit na isang araw lang. Sana may provision na ganun, pero wala eh. Walang cheat day si Lord. You understand? Ay, talaga. Nagawag ko yun. It's either you are victorious or you are defeated. Maguti lang. Ah, may provision si Lord. Pag ka defeated ka, confess your sin and He is going to forgive you for all from all unrighteousness. Balik ka na naman sa number one. Struggle na naman. Hanggang sa matutunan mo to say no. You understand? My friends, So those who live according to the flesh have their minds preoccupied by these things. Kaya, pag preoccupied ka sa Facebook, kasi yun ang buhay ko. Yun ang mindset mo. Okay? Kaya nga, di ba, lagi niya sana rin kung pag-isip mo sa umaga, hindi pa nagpupukas ang mata mo, kinakapa mo na yung mga sana. Yung Facebook. Sige? Sana, every time na ginagawa ko yun, puputok yung telepono mo. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. And you can set your mind on things of the Spirit. It takes a lot of discipline to make a constant Uh, magkaroon ka dapat talaga. Kaya very crucial ang uh, pinutulo sa inyo na Bible reading plan. Because that is the spirit. Ayan? That, those are spiritual things. Kaya lagi ko yung ini-encourage, umatid ka ng ii. Because that is a spiritual thing. You understand? Aral ka ng prayer meeting. Bakit? It's a spiritual thing. Now, sa unang pagkakataon siguro, awkward ka, hindi mo siya feel, but anyway, just go! 
in the moment you uh, alam mo kasi pag pinupuwer sa masarili mo na umatid ka and uh, suddenly the Lord will work kasi how many of you believe na si Lord alam niya yung desire ng puso natin Amen. alam niya na gusto mo siyang it is pag ginawa mo yun sasalubungin ka niya sa gitna hindi ka naman niya pang abiyan eh and the benefits of I tell you to serve God is not a boring thing it is an exciting thing Amen. 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 Every moment of resistance to sin, that to temptation is already a victory. Amen. I like that. Yes. Diba? <laughs> eh, katunayan na yung iba, hindi na nagre-resist. Eh, eh ikaw ba na nagre-resist ka? Resistance in itself is already a victory. Now, here's another thing. Marami kang daga na itinatago. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan mo, umakit sila sa ati. Shine the light. Kailangan ng uh, 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 plus light ng katotohanan. And only the Holy Spirit can show you that. Ayan, nasa din niya sa'yo, see? Napakarami ah, mong daga hidden there in the darkness. And if you don't get rid of them, they are going to destroy your home. Sana tinagmaganya ng iti. Again? And something that is wrong about rats, the rats of our life, the rats of insecurity. Amen? Uh, minsan kasi, eh, tayo mismo, we are ignorant na may tagal tala. Again? And, uh, Uh, wala naman nagtulong sa inang insecurity pero uh, dahil sa kinalakhan mong pamamahay uh, laging salat they may insecurity and the more you have insecurity insecurity is not of faith hello? pagka insecure ka lagi ka trying hard TH ang tawag nila TH trying hard trying hard na kumita, trying hard to impress, trying hard na magpihis, trying hard. What a life to live. PH. Okay? Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather exposure. The best way of resistance is exposure. I remember one now, uh, there was one missionary, pag-uwi siya sa Amerika and nakatagay sa aeroplano at 35,000 feet eh ang katabi niya very seductive again, you know seductive women wearing uh, plunging uh, uh, clothes revealing much skin hindi lang yun hindi lang seductive yung babae nagsiseduce pa yun <laughs> And so, nung nandun na sila sa 35,000 feet, biglang nilagay ng babae yung kanyang kamay sa hita at nung misyonari. <laughs> you understand? Sumingaw ngayon ang misyonari. Sabi niya, There's a hooker beside me! There's a hooker beside me! There's a hooker! Beside. Lahat, lahat, nabulabot ang buong aeroplano. Tapos na yun ang stewardess. Inilagay siya sa ibang seat. Ano yung inisip? Ano, uh, moral lesson? You need to expose sin before it exposes you. You need to embarrass sin before sin is going to embarrass you. Ano yung stewardess? That is resistance. Shine the light. You are in the power to say no. Okay? Hey, kung ayaw mo masabi ng no, ay expose on your decision. But it is going to uh, reinforce uh, your your carnal nature. Papalayo ka ng papalayo sa Panginoon at pagkalagi ka ng Diyas sa laman. Yun na saan. Uh, it is a little bit complicated, but uh, I find it very interesting. 
Now, in warfare against the flesh, the object, the objective is to demolish the stronghold. Uh, ang objective natin ay uwasakin ang mga buog. Ano yung mga buog na yan? Yung mga nakasanayan na nating mga mga habit, nakasanayan na nating mga ugali, nakasanayan na nating mga attitude! Ang nakarangling ko, tinanong ko kayo, are you aware of your weakness? Okay. Are, are you also aware of strongholds in your life? na eh, yung bang mga 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 ugali na halimbawa ugali magagalitin ay eh, pinanak ko ito sa tatay ko ganun siya eh. <laughs> Again, uh, uh, for a long time my wife used to tell me you have a temper. Kasi and early in during our marriage nakikita niya pagka in rage ako. And hindi ko pa napipigilan ang sarili ko. Ah, I, I never hurt my wife, not even once. Ah, uh, but I have a temper. Okay, pagkagalit yung sumisigaw and all that. And, can you imagine I was already past on it? But it took time. Bago ko siya overcome. It is a constant reminding of myself that this is not of the spirit. This is my carnal nature. Strongholds, yeah. You understand? What stronghold do you have? And sometimes the Lord is going to send you someone to tell you, Hey, yung pangit ng ugali mo. Welcome that. Uh, ma- malaki ang chances na tama ang sinasabi niya. Kasi wala namang ibang masasabi doon sa iyo. Pangit ng ugali mo. Utang ka ng utang, di ka nagbabaya. <laughs> yeah, that is a stronghold. Nagtatawa kayo, but that is a stronghold. One of the greatest strongholds here in Hong Kong, lagi nangungutang, pa 20-20, pa gis-gis, pero hindi nagbapaya. That is wickedness. You, you understand? That is wickedness. Ngayon, yung, yung gumagawa nun, hindi siya aware. Can you imagine? Every now and then, sinasabi ko na ito, nangyayari pa rin. Bakit? Kasi yung may katawan, hindi siya aware. Somebody has to tell that person. That's why we need, have, we need to have body ministry because then we have strongholds in our lives. Sanay na sanay na tayong gawin ito. Walang ibang, magsasab- uh, walang ibang uh, nagsasabi. Alam natin na uh, hindi na tayo aware na ang ginagawa pala natin na hindi nakakalugod sa Panginoon. Somebody has to point out, hey! And only it's your friend who can tell you that. Amen? Hey! Ang bakit ang ugali mo? Okay? Hindi pa ako natatapos magsalita na sumasabag ka na. May mga tao na lang. Stronghold. Yun isa. And yet, uh, 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 kaya kailangan natin ng spiritual warfare and it is always the battle of your mind, for your mind. You will either hear Satan's voice or God's voice. If you hear God's voice, you will endure. Sabi ni Lord, endure! Sabi ni Lord, uh, ni Apostle Pablo kay uh, Timothy, Timothy, endure our check as a soldier of Jesus Christ. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Confront the enemy. Confess your sin. Repent, pay attention, obey, and trust. That is the voice of the Holy Spirit. Eh, yun ay kung sanay ka magiging sa kanya. Pero kung nandun ka sa kabila, Satan's voice is, Uy, give up ka na! Wala kang mas ma... Wala kang makukuha dyan. Simba ka ng simba. Hindi ka naman nagbabago. Huwag ka nang pumunta. Nasabihin ni Satan. Give in! Ah, hindi na yung ex mo. Sige, tanggapin mo siya ulit. Magpakasaya kayo. Run away. Walang muna ang pamilya mo sa Pilipinas. Deny, blame, distract, excuse, and doubt. So, it's either you're hearing God's voice or Satan's voice. Now, if you are hearing God's voice, you must be aware of what is the truth. And how do you know the truth? By reading the Word of God. Balik na naman tayo sa reading of the Word of God, which many of you are not doing. Pa-cut and paste and paste and cut lang kayo. 
walang reading plan. Hanggang ngayon, meron pa naman sa inyo na walang pang Bible. O kung may Bible, nandun sa locker. Hindi naman minapasa. Okay? Now here. Uh, pag nandito ka sa gitna lagi, double-minded ka. Sino? Sino? Susundin ko. Who? Do you okay? Okay? Now again. The spirit is the new man. Focus on the facts, the spiritual. It leads to life. The other side leads to death. The, this side is a slave to righteousness. The other side is a slave to sin. Okay? Now, you cannot stay in the middle. Actually, if you stay in the middle, you don't belong to that side. My friends, you must have conscious resistance. Third, there must be a constraint. Constraint resigned. Uh, I think it's constraint. You have to make every effort. You, you have to yield. The word is yield. Uh, ano yung ibig ng yield? Ibigay mo. Bumigay ka. Huwag kang bumigay sa 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 Diablo, bumigay ka sa Panginoon. Yield yourself. Tignan nyo ang verse. Do not offer. Huwag mong ialay ang iyong uh, parte ng iyong sarili sa kasalanan. Do not yield your parts of your bodies to sin as an instrument of wickedness. But rather offer yourselves to God. Iaway mo ang sagayin mo sa Diyos as those who have been brought from death to life and offer ulit-ulit na sinasabi ang offer pangatlong beses na offer every part of yourself. Lahat ng bahagi ng sarili mo ay iaway mo. Kanino? Sa Kanya. Sa Diyos. Upang maging instrumento ng Katuwinan. Righteousness. My friends, again, it is a decision to make. It is a choice to make. You understand? Kaya na may alay ang sarili mo? Sa kasalanan o sa Diyos? Sa Diyos. Of course. But it takes a conscious effort to do that. You have to yield And the problem for us is uh, uh, mahina yung ating yielding uh, 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 initiative. Pinag-aaralan din ito. You understand? And so sabi dyan, but you, man of God, sabi ni Paul kay Timothy, Timothy, flee from all the wickedness. Flee from all these sins. And pursue I don't know with you, but when you pursue someone or something, you go after that someone or something. You understand? Alam mo, pagkakahan mo isang tao, you will pursue that person. Alam mo, kung magliligaw mo na ako si Sir, you know? Maliwala sa akin ang oras. Again, to be with the one you love is already intermittent. Ayaw ko, bakit napaka-ikliti ng oras ng panahon yun? Nag-uusap kayo, alas daw sila pala. Tapos sasabihin niya sa akin, huwag, alas daw sila. Wala pa namang crisis kami sa aming bayan o pagka alas daw sila. Hindi maglalakad daw. Okay? Hahamakit ang lahat. Masunod ka lahat. Uy. Kung yun, Uh, alam mo, mas madaling mag-heal kay Lord kung mahal mo siya eh. Pero kung hindi ka nag-heal kay Lord, hindi mo siya mahal. Ano na kasi simple yun. You understand? And many times, many times, uh, there are already opportunities for us to be instruments of righteousness. And yet, we do not do it. 
God is ready to assume full responsibility for the life of those who are fully yielded to Him. I love you. One of the things that I can uh, say is God is fully responsible for Him. The more I, the more I grow older in the Christian life, the more I mature. Nasa sarili ko na sa sarili ko, hindi na ako takot po anong mangyari sa akin. Kasi alam ko, responsible sa Lord sa akin. Kaya lang, yung, yung, yung word na yun, yung full responsibility, is only made possible, and you realize that, kung nakakiling ka lang yun sa kanya, yielded ka sa kanya. Amen? Amen. My friends, all your worries, all your apprehensions about the future is just going to fade away if you yield yourselves to God. Then, ilang beses ko lang pinakita sa inyo itong illustration na ito. Always learn from those yung mga may pinagdaanan. Amen? Yung mga dumaan na, mga sugatan, mga mga na-hospital na. Kaya, <laughs> yeah. sabi niya dito sa tatangatangang Christian, <laughs> Hey, I wouldn't open that door if I were you. Kung ako ikaw, hindi ko bumusan yan. Alam ko na kung sino ang nandiyan sa likod niya. A monster of sin. Okay? Ikaw, na nasa potential danger ka yan, nakahawa ka na sa door na. Again, so yes, again, your decision. Are you going to open it? Or take your hands off it? Because that is the door to the convention. Okay? The last but not the least. The more you give God control of your life, the more your life will be in control. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Kaya ano na si Lord mag-control sa buhay mo. And then you will have more control of your life. Shall we all know? Lord, I come to you that my mind be you to offer your minds to God. Sabi po ng salita ng Panginoon, you shall love the Lord with all of your mind. And as it is, there are some minds this morning that are bound. There are some minds this morning that are um, in slavery to unrighteousness. You need, you need your minds to be set free, to obey God. And so this morning, and nice po kung ikayate kayo. I want to encourage you that you should do this every day of the week this week. Begin to say every morning and say, Lord, Lord, I just want you to to offer my mind to you the whole day. Lord, remove everything that is not of you in there. I want you to be the Lord of my mind. And Lord, I, I pray that you will have the, uh, that I will have the mind of Christ. Lord, na magkakaroon ako ng kaisipan ni Cristo sa aming isip, Panginoon. And Lord, I yield my thoughts to you. Lord, lahat po ng mga negative thoughts, lahat po ng mga patterns of thought, Panginoon, na hindi sa iyo, O God. Lord, I surrender it to you this morning. That is exactly what you are going to do. Every day, every day, at least this week. And I want you to understand, there's something that is uh, very profound that will happen to you. The Lord is going to change the way you think. The Lord is going to change your mindset. 
and the Lord is going to change the course of your life. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Everyone that needs to do this, everyone that desires to do this, lift up your hands. Panginoon, itinataas po namin ang aming kamay. Lord, iniaalay po namin sa iyo ang aming, ang aming mga kaisipan. Lord, ang aming iisip, dalangin ko, Panginoon, lahat ng naguguluhan ngayon sa ngala ni Jesus. Lord, I destroy the enemy that is giving confusion in Jesus' name. Lord, lahat ng uh, mind na bound, Panginoon, ng sinful nature sa ngala ni Jesus. Sa ngala ni Jesus, set this mind free, Lord, to obey you. And Lord, every every thought that exalts itself above the knowledge of God, every pretension, every hypocrisy, everything, Lord, every every justification of sin, sa ngala ni Jesus, binubuwag ko ito sa ngala ni Jesus, ginagapos namin ito, Panginoon, at sinusurrender namin sa iyong paanan upang ang mga kaisipang ito, Panginoon, ay susunod at susunod sa iyo at sa iyo lamang. Lord Jesus, be the, be the Lord of our minds. Be the Lord of our minds, Lord. And I pray that this mind is going to be sanctified. In Jesus' name, we sanctify it by what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. Lord, I pray that the blood of Jesus will sanctify every mind right now. Right now, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. And Lord, salamat po that all our thoughts will be holy. All our thoughts, Lord, will be towards you. And Lord, members of our body will be yielded to you. And Lord, we are not going to yield every inch of our body to sinful nature. Panginoon, sa pagkatang katawang ito ay para sa iyo. Lord, salamat po. Lord, sa iyo ay iniaalay ko ang bawat isa. Salamat sa kapatawaran ng aming mga pagkukulang. And Lord, nalangin ko na lahat ng aming napag-aralan ngayon is going to be set into motion Panginoon sa aming buhay. Lord, sa iyo, ibinabalik ang lahat ng pagpuri at pagsamba sa natatangin pangalan lamang ng aming Panginoong Yesus and everyone would say Amen. Amen. Talagpakan po natin.